What is the deal guys? It's your boy Z85 Jew. We are back here with another video. I hope you guys can see me okay. I know it's completely dark outside. But right now we are actually at my boy Davion's house. You guys know him. He has the S13 with the fully built SR20. And he recently just went through a whole situation with his car as far as it getting it painted. You guys know from the previous videos, which will be linked up top, where he just finished his car's tuning, all of that stuff. And I'll kind of let him explain a little bit more. I'll show you right now. So this is kind of the state that his car is in. And uh, you can see this guy's not happy at all. <laughs> By any means, he's not happy. But um, I'll have him kind of explain a little bit more. It was just a whole whole situation that doesn't really need to be talked about too, too much. But uh, yeah, we'll, we'll fill you guys in because I know you're probably like, why does this car look like this? Also, not to mention, too, uh, you guys saw on the Instagram post, the car was one color like a week ago. Yeah, and I'll throw up pictures where you guys can see that. I think you should leave it like this. It don't look that bad. Just clear coat it and yeah, just clear coat it. <laughs> no, it's, uh, yeah, I mean, I definitely see the vision. Well, you guys saw actually, so when we were getting it dyno tuned, he actually didn't have the front fenders or the uh, quarter panels on at the time. So actually, I guess this is the first time that you guys are seeing it as one car, one full car. But the only difference is right now he's on different wheels because he is getting his wheels refinished and uh, all that stuff. So that's going to look sick. But, uh, but yeah, man, it's just a huge situation that happened. And um, yeah, just very inconvenient for our time frame. And uh, again, it'll all make sense later. But yeah, it's just, it's crazy. All right, Davion, give these fools a rundown, bro. Of what happened, man? All right, so pretty much, uh, when was it? Four weeks ago, I dropped my car off at, you know, paint to get painted, and uh, I got sent a couple pictures, and you know, it looked good, like for about 10 minutes. You know, it was like a whole Instagram post looking good. And I'll throw them um, right here so you guys can see. Once I started to zoom and I started to look at stuff, I started to notice that there's like molding in like the candy paint. Um, and it pretty much looked like it hadn't been primered. You could see probably like 50 different shades of red. And it was bad, you know, and I could see all the bodywork that wasn't done. You know, my fender's supposed to get extended, hood is supposed to get extended, you know, holes are supposed to be filled in the back, you know, for like the uh, over fenders, and none of it was done. He did like a low rider job on the roof, which is what it was supposed to have, but it looked nothing like the picture I gave him. So pretty much to say the least, um, all in all, it was like a terrible paint job. So I went over to his house, you know, to, basically swapped the wheels off off the car and then that's when I saw it in person and it looked it looked so bad I got anxiety I wanted to throw up so the next day I just went over with the trailer and took my car home and now of course you know painting the car myself so yeah, yeah that's pretty much the rundown on that and you were you were telling me that you did some body work to like you know fill in some gaps you know just get the fitment like yeah, a so, lot better. You know, I extended the hood along the side right here, also all right here through the headlights, which I still have to do a little bit of trimming, you know, to get it perfect. Mm -hmm. um, and then same for this side, I had to extend that. So, I mean, you can see this side's extended almost an inch. This side, about, you know, five eighths of an inch. Yeah. And then I got all this fitted uh, correctly. So instead of utilizing a bracket, like how they do OEM right here, um, I actually put rib nuts into the bumper so that it, you know, it'll suck it inward that way. Um, and the fitment looks pretty good. Yeah, the fitment looks really good, bro, actually crazy and then as for the fenders right here I'm working on it right now but what I did was you know I, I'm extending this so that it meets the door line um, you know because origin fenders from the right from the bat they're like it, they it, say buy real stuff because it doesn't <laughs> fit good but this shirt don't fit good um, you know so I'm extending all this out and then gonna cut a line along here and then that should give me a pretty tight gap and then I'm just gonna pull the fender off and then I'll fiberglass it from the backside and then just trim off whatever I need to and that should look good yeah it's kind of crazy yeah, looking at this. I'm sure like people who don't do work like this, like honestly for me, it looks like it's like, damn, like how is he going to get this to work? But I know, yeah, I know it'll come together for sure. But yeah, I've never done anything fiberglass wise. So I commend this fool, bro. Cause yeah, this is, this is sick. This is hella sick compared to what it looked like before. So yeah, I'm excited, but definitely unfortunate. And uh, yeah, it, it, it's, it's super unfortunate. I don't know if Davian wants to talk about like what he's really getting this car ready for, but, um, but yeah, he basically has a deadline for next week today is friday and he literally has to get this car ready by next week next literally saturday next saturday so pretty much like friday i'm gonna be you know friday i have an appointment to put the glass on the car which yeah. literally is you know the day before so yeah it's a very big day and uh, again like i said it'll always make make sense next week you guys will see a video on that but uh yeah it, it's just kind of unfortunate that uh you know he took the time get to drop it off to get it painted paid money 
and uh you know to see how the car came out so yeah you guys already saw what the car looked like but uh yeah i'm excited for it to be done and honestly it's just it's cool it's better for him that he can say he did everything himself so, <laughs> you know yeah literally that. from the engine bay and <laughs> with that fun fact i've dropped my car off three times to three different people to have work done and all three times they messed up my car so yeah and it, it, <laughs> it, it sucks yeah this fool really has like bad luck when it comes to it because like he had like front end work done and like obviously paint work and just a bunch of stuff and i'm sure there's stuff i don't know about but uh but yeah in the, in, in the end it'll be worth it but uh yeah man stay tuned uh, right now I'm doing the bottom part where like the side skirt was mounted because um, I was unable to get to it when the side skirt was on there But you know, I was just for fitment purposes. I had to do that So now I'm just gonna add to this section down here. I think um, Robert was telling me I think you're supposed to wear gloves when you do this, right? Yeah, you should uh, do as I say not as I do <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, this little Robert over here was like he because he was I guess cutting all the fiberglass and He was like not wearing anything not wearing long sleeves like no, I don't even got like a mask a respirator yeah, yeah. goggles uh, nothing. I just been standing Bro hey, You ain't wrong my guy dang Robert's like a professional so he's sitting there right now like watching me do this and he's like hey, bro I didn't even know how you do it though. I was just watching bro because it's just interesting <laughs> I'm just here. I, I I have no idea what he's doing. So I, basically, what he's doing. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> hey, no, no, no. Go ahead. No, I, don't, tell I, don't, him, I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't. All right. Know. All right. All right. Look. Now him. you try like you don't know. What you lying for, bro? That's what we we're painting. That's what he's doing. That's what it looked like, honestly. But I don't know if you guys are interested in a VQ motor. It came out of what? What car? What, what year? Make it model. You know, Davion? Huh? What? <laughs> what year? Make it model? Did that VQ come out of? Uh, 2008. G37. 2008. A sport. 2008 G37 Sport. You know how many miles, roughly? It was 127,000. 127. Yeah, basically, long story short, you got into an accident, so motors for sale. So if you guys are interested, or in any G37 parts in general, this fool has like door cards, he has a trunk. Uh, he has a bunch of stuff over here. So yeah. Door just... cards actually sold. Oh, okay, door cards are sold. But, uh, but the trunk is here. Uh, looks like the dash is here. I don't know if that one is for sale. The dash is for sale, it just has like, it does have like, you know, blemishes and like a few cracks, but it's Yeah, it's for sale. Yeah, so, so but that is, that's over there if you guys can see that. Um, but yeah, I think he has some other stuff in like this bin here. He has ECU. Also here. Um, oh yeah, he has all this stuff up here as well. So yeah, if you guys need anything like that, but yeah, 127,000 miles, G37 Sport. Holla at my boy. We have a uh, situation going on here. Um, gotta pay my car. Mm, got a lot of overspray on it, but no worries. Um, we're gonna fix it. <laughs> Alright, so while this pool is working over here and he's being a jacket, uh, come over here. You actually can see uh, he ended up obviously taking his fingers off. And basically, you can see the overspray. This fool did not mask off properly. And when I say this fool, I'm not talking about that guy over there. I'm talking about the guy who supposedly painted this car. He did not mask it off. You can see his intake is painted, this bar. We actually just painted this engine bay. I don't know if you guys remember, we painted this entire engine bay. So, overspray there, a ton of overspray on his intercooler piping. And um, you can just kind of see everything is like crystallized underneath here. So, yeah, just to kind of put in perspective, you guys. And also, we won't be disclosing what shop it was that actually did this messed up paint job, just for uh, reasons. Um, you know, there's no need to like put anybody on blast, but we for sure obviously would not be taking this car back to that fool. It would be crazy to see because I already know this guy's gonna do such a better job than him. If you didn't know, he's a gang member, by the way. You can see uh, the way he. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Grandma's first reaction hey, to the hey, startup. They, so you gotta introduce her, bro. Introduce her. No. Okay. Are you this, sure? This is this is my grandma <laughs> right here, fresh from Japan. Hey! <laughs> you know? So she knows she knows what's up. But she's gonna hear, you know, the S13 startup for the oh first time and I when's the last thing you heard my car run? Seven years ago? Oh Eight years ago when you used to God. ride in it? Yeah. Remember I took oh you to Ross? My God. <laughs> and then for those wondering, this fool just primered his uh his roof. So I know you're wondering like what all the tape is for. What do you think? You, he's going to trigger everybody by this uh, 
alarm. Um. Yeah. <laughs> Set the alarms off. Yep. That's crazy. Oh my goodness. You gonna ride in it again? Mm-hmm. You gonna ride in it with me again? We gotta have to. We gotta no. get a. We gotta get a reaction not video. No, 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 not, not today, today. Not no, today. No, not today. Done. Later. Uh, Just one time. You drive slowly. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> sure. We'll drive slow. Uh, just one block. Okay. <laughs> one block. <laughs> we'll do it. <laughs> my grandma drove my old my old 240, my old 13. For real? Yeah. And then you remember, had, we raced the Honda. Did it have a <laughs> SR in it or no? No, it's, it's okay. Okay. Yeah, it's a stock. Hmm. I can I can still drive stick. I know. Oh shoot! Yeah, so she's gonna drive this car. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I did this this morning. Oh. So I got this wet sanded. You're, re, you're redoing the whole thing. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Is that gonna be a thing for that? No, I'm gonna oh. do it. Yeah, mm. like. Mm. Yeah, fancy. That's gonna attract more attention. That's okay. <laughs> you gotta be a collecting the ticket. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'll try to afford them. Okay. Okay. All right. What are you doing, sir? It's a custom, bro. So John Marco is that one friend that you know you pull up to the house, somebody's house, and starts working on his own car. Hey man, I got permission to be here, so I mean, <laughs> this guy got his car jacked up and everything. I don't, know, I don't know if you guys were here, but there's this freaking Hellcat. It's like scaring the neighbors away and stuff. Oh lord, oh lord. <laughs> Cars coming and everything. It has come down to it. This guy is gonna be painting this car in this garage. So he just actually sanded the roof. Not sanded, it, sorry. He primered the roof and he's getting ready to wet sand it to, you know, smooth it out. And then after that, should be painting the whole car. I presume. Yeah. Yes. Am I so uh, we have we have approximately. One, let me see. One, two, three, four. We have no days left. <laughs> we have no days left. But uh, yeah, this guy. I think he's. I don't know. We have technically like four days. Four days. And um, yeah, to get this stuff figured out. So we're gonna get it going. Next time you guys will see this car. Hopefully it's done. But there's no promises. Anything you want to say? Yeah. Um, <laughs> Keep in mind who you take your car to, I guess, yeah. sometimes, because, you know, especially like when you're in time crunch, I was real open, you know, with like my deadline and everything, and obviously he rushed it, didn't do a good job, so now I'm pressed with uh, only two weeks of time, you know, total to pretty much sand everything off, reprep, and then do all the body work and paint the entire car. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, thank God I have good friends because probably wouldn't have been able to do it just by myself because this is a lot of work. Yep, just remember that. Definitely do your research. Cheaper is not always better. In this case, that's not it what. Wasn't. Yeah, I was saying this. Yeah, yeah, yeah it wasn't cheap. It, it was, yeah, no, no, no. You know I mean? Yeah, no, I was gonna say, in this case, it wasn't that it was like cheap, expensive, nothing like that, but it's just, yeah. I just again, got it's just dirty. Yeah, basically. So, uh, yeah, just do your research. It'll come out better, you know, by doing it yourself. And it's cool to say, like, you know, you did it yourself in, in a garage and stuff like that, you know, your own garage all that stuff so yeah kind of cool